Lake Havasu 2020 Juan Bass Arizona Open. Today is second to last day for practice and it is blowing out there. Sustained winds up to 25 miles an hour. We just stopped over at Bass Tackle Master. Gotta stop by there every time you're at Lake Havasu. And I've got in the truck today with me, I have Mike Pua and Joe Edmonds. We're gonna go sit around the London Bridge, kind of stay out of the wind, keep all of our equipment fresh so that we could go out there and tear them up. Well, hi. Say hi, Mike. Hi, guys. And Joe. Hi, guys. And we're going to stick all of Todd Woods' fish. It's blowing a little harder than we thought it was. It's literally about 750 mile an hour. Out here. I think I saw a movie where a famous boat sank in these types of conditions called the Andrea Gale. The Andrea Gale ain't no skeeter. And we're about to go and take the bull by the horns. We'll see ya. I don't know, Mike. It is blowing a little harder out there, so I think I should go home and get my trite. It's the driest ride out there. I got Joe Edmonds currently leading the MLF. Oh! 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 Son! 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 Bends, yours goes back to the water. The first, the biggest, and the most. Donkey! Donkey time! I'd like to thank uh, Ben Green Insurance, Triton Boats, uh, Kent Brown, and uh, Mike Pua. Mike Pua.
Day one, a brutal day one. Today I drew Jesse Vargas from Orange County Bass Club. Hello. And we went out there and how'd we do, Jesse? Not good. We had a great time. We got a lot of pictures of sunrises and waves and birds, yeah. but we didn't catch any fish. So they're out there. They're gonna be caught tomorrow. And you might see Joe in the back there. Hey. Stop. Joe, how'd you do today? Um, did really, really bad. Bummer. Zero. Yeah, that's what we did too. Zero. So we're tied. <laughs> Tomorrow is a new day. Hope everybody uh, catch up. Hope everybody goes out there and catches them tomorrow with your respective partners, and we'll check in and give you an update after day two. Right, exactly. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You know what you and I have in common today? What's that? We caught the same amount of fish. No, really. Yeah. Damn, you've been even getting stomach holes lately, huh? Yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was the. Wow. But it's a three-day tournament, so you know maybe I can make up some ground. Checking in from the Arizona Open out here at Lake Havasu. Today, I drew Brandon Smith. You might recognize Brandon, 2017 Wild West Bass Trail. He was the Amateur Angler of the Year. He also won the event at Lake Mojave in 2017 on the amateur side. And his brother, Laith Moore, won the event on the pro side. So that was a great day out there today fishing. Yeah, I had a good time. Nice. How'd we end up? Uh, two fish for 575 so better than my day one too I didn't bring any fish to the boat I didn't help the cause at all that day so nice. it was nice nice to get a fish in the boat and uh, get on the board and one other great thing about Brandon is he has a clothing company it's called stay bent outdoors and stay bent outdoors is basically cater into the fishermen is that correct yeah uh, my wife and I started a few years ago as uh, just a side business we could do together um, right now we're just on Instagram and Facebook uh, as Stay Bent Outdoors. Our website's being built now. Uh, so hopefully this year uh, we'll get all of our site done and all of our apparel out there so everybody can check us out. And uh, hopefully it'll be something that'll just keep growing. Awesome. And then we also have Joe Edmonds in the back and Joe is really happy to tell a story. Joe, how'd you do today? Uh, today we had five fish for a total of 928. Nice, nice job. And Who'd you draw? It was a slow day, Drew Travis. Basket. First time in a basket. First time in a basket. Very slow boat. Yeah. <laughs> his, his name's Travis Jewell. Ch Travis Jewell, that's what it is. Nice. So he was a really cool dude, really cool cat, and uh, uh, looking forward to hearing from him again when he comes down here. So, Perfect. Had a great time. I heard you guys are going to have a boat race. We, he doesn't want any part of that.
decent fish. How'd you get him? Arizona Open, fly, four pound test. My first time ever using him. Brian Price comes in the clutch, gets one fish. And it's a little one. <laughs> it makes it look a lot bigger. Nice. Hey, all right. Ben Green Insurance, number one. <laughs> Day three update. We had a fantastic time out there today. How'd you do, Nathan? I uh, did all right. It was a tough day, but we had fun. We uh, we had a couple net incidents. Yeah, uh, net drills. Uh, we had three of them. He got this hook set down pretty good. Uh, by the third one, he was ready to catch a smallmouth after setting the hook on three trees and yelling for the net. That's right, that's right, that's how we do it. We uh, we kept, kept ourselves in our, on our toes today. So four pound test with a little fly and uh, Mike Pua had given me a whole lecture on that I can't set the hook the way that I did in practice or else it'll break off, so. You got it figured out. That was cool. Caught that fish for good enough time to wear him out. Them smallies are tough and mean. Yeah, well, I appreciate meeting with me hey, today. Nice, nice boating with you, and uh, that FXR ran great. That was a good boat, and had a good time. Nice, I appreciate the uh, the compliment. All right, all right, we'll catch up with you later. All right, later. Benjamin Green coming up next with Nathan Foreman. What's up, Benjamin? Hey, Billy, how you doing today? I'm a little tired. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you to all the customers and supporters of Ben Green Insurance Agency and also Last Chance Performance Marine. You got it. All right. Is this pro big fish for Ben? 3.32 pounds. Hey, Ben, always a pleasure. Thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, working with all the anglers. We'll see you clear Lake. Okay. Sir, thank you. Thank you for that uh, dinner last night. Appreciate it. Or that margarita. Forgot which one you bought. Special angler today he is Hayden. This is Hayden's second event today. How'd you do, Hayden? I didn't drop. Did all right. We only got one, but you know, it's still it was tough out there, but we still managed to get one. How'd you catch your fish? Uh, drop shot. Nice, nice. Yeah. Now you got a special award in this tournament. What was that? That was the biggest bag from yesterday, so that was that, that was definitely good. Nice. Sure. Yeah. That's awesome. What are you doing tomorrow? So tomorrow I got a mountain bike race because I, uh, I race mountain bikes on top of fishing. So I have a uh, mountain bike race up here in Havasu, which I've never done this series, but it should be cool. It's 23 miles and it should be good. That's incredible. What's your next event with Juan Bass? Uh, I want to do Clear Lake, but I'm not sure if my mom's going to let me because of the school thing. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah so education's that, important, but fishing is uh, more important. Exactly. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of hard to talk her into that. Part, but, right. Right. Yeah. Well, congratulations. It was nice Thank meeting you. you. Nice meeting and, you. And uh, we'll see you next time, right? For sure. Hopefully. All right. All right. Thanks. See ya. Drop the boat off. Wanted to say very big thank you to Joe and Jenny Edmonds for their hospitality. This week, they housed Mike Pua and I in Havasu, and they have the coolest dogs. They're in the video. Thank you for tuning in, following along with, with my antics as I tried to get around the lake and put five in the boat. Sean Bailey made that look really, really easy, and it was not. And that's why he's a champion. Congratulations, Sean, on your victory. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel. The next event's Wild West Bass Trail New Maloney's. I hope to see everybody up there, and I hope to redeem myself for the last couple tournaments I've had where I finished way down deep in the pack. Looking forward to seeing everybody up there. Thanks again for all your support. Jesus,